managed to get run over by a Kia. Let's try this again. Luckily, fiberglass isn't a steel. It doesn't dent. It just cracks and then you resin everything back together and it just sort of works. At any rate, I don't have 500 bucks for another hood, so I put that piece of crap back on. Right here. There it goes. Hope I didn't get it in my tire. <laughs> A custom Kia modified hood. That's like I said earlier. That's what I love about fiberglass. Is, uh, it doesn't actually dent like steel does. So there's no hammer and dolly work. You literally just resin some crap back together and you just keep chugging. <sighs> I've accomplished zero this week. I didn't get to go to uh, Power Tour. I most definitely did not get to attend Roadkill. This is why I hate tires with such low tread wear. This one's down to absolutely nothing. The other one's pretty much down to nothing, but at least it's not at the cords yet. We're gonna have to see if we can find a used tire shop or something. Good thing it's 1.35 in the morning. Because uh, there'd be a lot of angry people if it wasn't. Open up. 
here's a tip if you have really good tires on a project car that it's a different bolt pattern than your tow car and your tow car front tires come apart Walmart will mount them for five bucks per tire they won't charge nothing this mount them they may but these do so uh, yeah it's five bucks per tire and then I got these two balanced those I just threw on there just so the rim wouldn't get damaged hopefully no more slowdowns I've already missed power two I've already missed the roadkill show I just I just want to go home so I can do it all over again two more three more times but hey at least the charger's coming home and I can finally you know do some work on it get that 440 buttoned up and throw it in there some kids and we may no longer have any gear but fourth gear fourth being not overdrive but um, it's the one one gear third is overdrive so we no longer have third we no longer have first or second I don't know about reverse I'm just trying to milk it home because I can give a crap less about a hundred twenty five dollar <laughs> transmission that nobody wants anyway especially if it's not durable enough to last right good thing is I kept all my three-speed stuff in a nice little pile. I use a different bell housing, different drive shaft, different everything. So when I get home, I pick this pile up, get a new clutch disc, new U joints, and it all goes back together to the three speed I love. And it's durable. I don't know. Nothing really seems out of place. I think the damage is internal. Maybe one day we'll actually be able to afford a real top loader, not overdrive one. Maybe I'll be able to use the real top loader's gears in this. I don't know. We'll see. What makes these kind of weaker is that third gear is a tiny gear to make it an overdrive. So, but one and two should be okay. The third is shared by another gear. So, Maybe I shouldn't have towed on overdrive, or maybe I shouldn't have done a big massive burnout while pulling a trailer. But that's what I do. Um, I'm hiding sandwich. Wait, where are my sandwich? persevere. 